Okay, hey, what's up, YouTube? Man, so got a new toy, and I've been working with this thing, and I'm going to do a quick video. I'm going to do a full review of this scope because I absolutely love this telescope, um, but I'm going to do that at a later time. Right now, I want to get this out there for anybody who's struggling like I was, okay? Um, and struggling means how can I get my access uh, Wi-Fi point to start working, my access point on my Wi-Fi. Uh, the Evolution has a built-in Wi-Fi. Um, you can use this system, though, I think that I'm about ready to share with you with the dongle on the um, uh, Nexstar SE. I think it'll work just fine uh, with this system. But, <clears throat> and this is for newer scopes. This, I just got this. I take it the scope was uh, probably built uh, pretty recently. I just bought it. Um, so, uh, I don't know the manufacturer date right now, but, um, might put that in the comments later on. But anyway, so there are, there's a manual for this and it talks about getting the access point on. And if you follow that manual, the only manual that I could find online, it's absolutely going to make you bang your head against the wall because it's wrong. Okay. So why is it wrong? It leaves out a very important piece of information. When you're opening up the app, you actually have to connect. I'm going to take you step by step. But you absolutely have to connect first to the scope before you move on in the, in the I don't know, and from what I'm reading on uh, the great folks over there at the uh, Cloudy Nights Forum, that's where I got all this information, okay? Um, and how to get this access point to finally start working. So um, let's, uh, let's take a look at what I went through, okay? Here's the instructions that, again, I found this on the forum. I'm just going to kind of hold this up here. Uh, you could probably uh, freeze your camera and use these instructions. And it's pretty much what you want to do, except clear to the bottom I didn't find it necessary to power uh, cycle the scope. It starts working without having to do that if you really pay attention to a couple of things that I'm going to share with you, okay? <clears throat> so, uh, there's the instructions that I found online, and those are what you will want to follow. Again, pretty much to the T, and we're going to go through them right now, though. So the first thing you do, you're going to direct connect this just like you would. This isn't a really a tutorial for, for that per se, uh, but you would direct connect um, the scope just like you always would. Um, you turn on, simply have this in the up position. That's your, uh, well, hold on a second. Anyway, I'll show you that in a second. Make sure you go ahead and collect to your Celestron, whatever it's called. Mine's called OD6, and then I'm going to hit done. And understand that you are not going to be able to do that unless this button, and this button should come in the up position, okay? Um, that's, that's the way mine did. This underneath here, um, I don't know if this helps. It didn't help me when I was trying to do get connected. It's the Wi-Fi re uh, wi reset button, but um, you, you just put, punch that in. I held it in, and it, it shut your light off here for a second, okay? So... But anyway, let's keep moving. So what you're doing here is now, you, you notice before this was blinking when I was talking about it, uh, talking about the scope and getting ready here, it was fast blinking. Now it's a pulsating, okay? That means it's connected to my phone. It's, it's connected to the phone, but it's not really connected to the scope yet. You do that by opening up your Sky app, okay? And here's the big thing that they don't tell you to do is you have to connect, okay? Uh, it does not say that. I spent three hours on this thing last night trying to get this thing to connect uh, via the um, Wi-Fi, and it just wouldn't do it. Now you see I'm connected. Everything's moving. I want to show you that speed, too, while we're at it. Let me get, let me get this on so you, you can see what I'm looking at here. So this is connected on the direct connect mode. Um, any person that got half a brain can pull that off. Sorry if you're having trouble with that, uh, but uh, it, it's so easy to connect. And then, um, oh, I can't let you see that as I'm talking because I can't get to my other screen. Anyway, it's it's very, it, it, 
when you're hitting your controls on your phone, which by the way, you get used to doing that. I know a lot of people like those buttons on the controller. I haven't brought my controller out of the box yet because this thing is so great on doing that three-star alignment, but I'm getting off track here. Um, but now we are, once you go on there, see it, it, it's breathe, it was breathing heavy again there. But once I get on uh, my app here and I start moving around, uh, you can't see it, but that thing turns solid, okay? When I go off the app, it, it starts breathing. It's, it, it's not being controlled, I guess, by the scope or I don't have this app open. Um, so here's where um, it gets interesting and very tricky. Number one, before we get started on the access point, let's talk about your router. You better be able to split a 5G or a 2.9 router like I have, okay? I have a 5G router that carries both the 2.9 and the 5G. I'm so happy that I've got it for the simple fact that if I didn't, I wouldn't be running this scope right now. This scope does not want 5G, period. So don't try it. I got lucky one time and this thing connected and I had I had my 2.9 and my uh, uh, 5G combined into one router name. And I'll be darned if by doing that, it was trying to connect to 5G and it just wouldn't make it happen. It was terrible. It did it one time though, it really teased me um, and I started making a video here, and then I was like, oh my God, what's going on? I couldn't connect, and it because I was going through and trying to do the steps over like I'm doing for you now. And that 2.9, I got lucky one time on the 2.9 instead of a 5G connection, and that made it work. But then it just kept finding 5G, and this that that thing just kept blinking. It it wouldn't even, it didn't want to connect. So keep that in mind. You need a 2.9 uh, uh, G router, okay? So now we're here, um, we're um, not, okay, so here is when we're going to go into settings, okay? Um, and then we're going to go page down here until you see that setup, Celestron Wi-Fi. And right now you see that I have that communication on that direct mode. You have to do that, have it in use direct mode in order to configure access point. Go ahead and push that button. Now there's another guy that did a video on this. It was very good, very put together. And uh, he came in here and showed you how to do this. And uh, it, it, it was great. So then what you're going to do is you're going to select WPA. Most modern routers do have that as all you have is your, your name of your um, SSID, the name of your router is what that is. And then the paraphrase of the password. So you plug those things in and then you hit send configuration to Wi-Fi module. I'm going to not do that right now because <laughs> I don't want to chance it mess it up. And it's already got my, um, it's already got that saved in there. So I think I'm going to be fine. Okay. So, well, I don't think it matters, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to mess up the video. But you would hit send configuration the Wi-Fi module. Remember, no matter what you put in there, it's going to tell you you're successful. Okay, let's just go ahead and do it. I'm going to take the risk. Okay, that's what it comes up to. So it says Wi-Fi module configures successfully. Let me tell you, all this is doing is sending it to your telescope. It's not trying to log in right now to your router. If you have a wrong name of your SSID or you have a wrong passcode in there, you are not going to get connected. And again, the banging your head against the wall starts like mine did. I, I did this and had a wrong password put in. I split this out on my Wonder Router. Now I'm Wonder Router 1. I had to separate my 5G and my 2.9 and this thing just fired right up. But anyway, now we're, now we're set up to where we need to be. I just X out of that, okay? And then I'm back in the settings here. And I go under, and, and then, so here's the next step. Um, you will want to go back into here, come over to your um, telescope now, and that button that's in the up position, that's the direct mode, you take that and you move it to the down position. Just move it down, okay? And what that allow you to do, now you've turned it into an access point, you do the same thing on the module uh, they have a button, and again, there's a guy that you've probably seen the video. If you did the Sky Portal module or whatever it's called, the link or whatever that thing is, I didn't like it. It didn't connect half as good as this thing did. 
Um, but I could have been running, well, I didn't try to even access mode that. So I was in direct connect mode and it just didn't do very well for me. So now you've got a blinking deal over here, uh, your Wi-Fi uh, thing. You've got this down in the access mode. The last thing you have to do is get back onto this app and change this now to your access point. And I think that's the best way to do that in that order. That's what the other guy that did the, um, um, the good video on this, uh, he was using that Wi-Fi dongle. But see, now my communications is still in direct mode. This is when you move it into use access, okay? And then use access point, and then you hit okay. And now, um, you page out of this, and I'm, I'm nervous here again, this is still blinking fast, okay? <laughs> so, oh, here we go. No, it, it's supposed to stay that warm blink there. So now I'm gonna to try to connect. And guys, I'll be darned if it got off my, me by doing this, just messed up the settings again. It's just unbelievable. I don't know if it's trying to, it try, uh, no, it's, it's, it's just giving me this hard blinking. I'm gonna let you see what I'm seeing here, okay? Let me get over here. And I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna find it. When you see it rapid blinking like that, and once in a while it'll stop and pause, it means it is not connected to your Wi-Fi, okay? So no matter what you've done, something happened here that didn't work right. So I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna go back through the steps here and I, I'm probably gonna just re-enter my router name into the system there and try this again. Um, hang tight. Okay, guys, I'm still working on this, but I want, want to make sure you see this. This, I've got it back on direct mode. This is what it should look like before you take and connect it to the app. It should look like that slow glow like that. That means that it's got connection, okay? Just like it is right now, it's connected back to my phone. You see that, Celestron uh, OD6. So make sure you see that after you send it into, you know, you switch that button down. If it's got Wi-Fi connection and it, it did your password and everything right, that's what you want to see. Okay, I'm going to put you on pause here and get right back. Okay, guys, I think I got it here. And what happened was, for some reason... I went to a WEP instead of a WPA. I think that's what was going on. The second thing you might want to make sure you're doing, if you've got a space in between there, make sure that you do like my Wonder Router 1 and there's a space between the, my router name, make sure that you do the proper spacing, okay? Um, and it just changed it again. Okay, so I'm going to send these over. Oh, well, it's already, it's already blinking. So I, I, when I change it to the WPA, it did what it needs to do. Okay, so we're going to just, again, make sure that you change, have that in WPA setting. I don't know why that did that. So I'm going to get out of this now. I'm going to back out of it. Um, let's close out of this. And you see now my router has been, went back to the Wonder Router here. Okay, and that's the way it should be. I'm gonna show you what should be happening on your scope too right now before we try to connect the scope. I want you to see what you should be seeing here. Okay, so you should be seeing that slow glow. Slow glow with this in the down position, not in the up. Now we know that we're in this Wi-Fi access mode that opens up so many doors for you, okay? I think you can have, um, uh, you're, you're going to be able to connect other devices to that. I haven't done it yet, but I think if I can probably do this with my phone, I'm going to be able to maybe jump in on the internet and control my scope. Hopefully, this would be nice to be able to control the scope through uh, my, you know, if you're doing any kind of astrophotography <clears throat> or using any kind of CPI software, whatever they give you for this, um, Maybe if you get and you log in through the Wi-Fi router, 
that you're going to be able to uh, control it there too. I'm not sure on that, but this is where you want to be right here. Okay. Um, and now we're going back to the app here and you're going to keep your fingers crossed and breathe and pray to the telescope gods and you hit your connect button and... You still have no connect. <laughs> this is crazy, but it looks like it's doing what it should be doing. Oh, you know what I did? Let me do something here. I don't think I went in and did the final uh, thing, what I've got to do. Um, I didn't. I didn't. I left that in direct mode. So now I'm using access point. Let's hope I didn't screw something up. This is the most comical uh, figure. Oh my God. Now I got to go clear back and do it all over again because I got to get the the scope back on the um uh use direct no i don't no i don't so let's do that so i'm going to keep it there on the use uh access point <clears throat> let's just see if this works and now we're going to go back here and we're going to try to connect and presto finally okay so <clears throat> guys, that was half user error, okay, I'm sure. I don't know how that WEP got changed from WPA to WEP. Make sure you put in your spacing. I'm not going to edit this video because I want you to see the pain that you're going to go through if you don't walk this thing and do everything precisely right. But you did see, even though, uh, you know, I didn't follow the steps exactly there where they say flip this switch over and then go do the access point. Well, I kind of did, but uh, and th but then I had to go back into the access point and redo that. So um, you can get away with a little bit of mistakes and the scope will still like it. Now let's do, do the big test here. Uh, you can't see it, but I'm going to let you hear it. So immediately when I'm pushing those buttons, just like it was when you're doing the direct connect, you have pretty quick access here, okay? So I'm gonna be taking it out tonight. We got another nice night here in Charlotte, but you can see that scope, that uh, pointer there moving around. So the scope is 100% acting right. And I got a full glow. Let me get over here and see if I can uh, let you see this. See if it won't uh, go to a slow glow. Oh yeah, there it is. So it's telling you that it's fully connected there. See that? Not breathing at all. I call it breathing. It's just uh, locked in. So that's it, guys. So those are, I hope that will help some people um, in, in making sure that you're able to get your, uh, this great telescope. I can't tell you how happy I am. But uh, hopefully that'll help some people get online and get this access point going. Because guess what you could do now? Now, see, it, it went to blinking there, but that's only because I paused for so long. The minute I go back into the other app, I've got no blink. And you hear that. God, music to my ears. Look at that. Okay. So um, that now, though, you can get on. You can do anything, just like you're... Um, just like you're, uh, you know, you can surf the web. You can do whatever you want to do. Now, some people say, oh, I don't want to do that. That's why I get online. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to talk to anybody. I, I like the direct mode. Well, good. Okay. But there's been times um, where I've gotten, I said like, why well, I need something, you know, I, I want to look something up, uh, maybe to do with the, the telescope or whatever. Now I can get that. Okay. Uh, now you're into, um, you know, I open up all my stuff. It's awesome. So um, <clears throat> that's it, YouTube. Hope you enjoyed the chaos of this video. And uh, hit a big like if you do. Drop some questions in. If you're having any issues, I'll do my best to help you. And uh, that's it. Later, YouTube.